So hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hello. Long time no see. Very long time again. <laughs> so we wanted to give you guys an update um, because we do have some plans for December. Um, we're actually going to Amsterdam today. Um, Just for holiday. We moved back to Germany. I didn't say that yet. Ah yeah, okay. But if you follow There me, are some details that we missed out on. <laughs> definitely, but if you follow me on Instagram, you know that we moved back from Amsterdam to Germany for a specific reason because our priority right now is to travel as much as we can before we probably move fully back to the Netherlands in a few years. Or the Netherlands? The Netherlands, probably, whenever. Um, yeah, and that's the plan. Yeah, so Sarah meets my parents um, this week. <laughs> yes, for the first time. So I haven't seen my parents in like two years and we're going back to Amsterdam because I have some appointments to see and what else do we have to do there, Shots? Oh, I have, to, I have to pick up my residency permit, stuff like that. But then my parents haven't seen me in so long and they were like, oh, Tom, we miss you. Um, how about we come to Amsterdam at the same time? And then, uh, yeah, we were like, okay, cool. Of course, sounds yeah. Good, sounds good. So yeah. Sarah gets to meet my parents for the first time, which would be interesting. <laughs> I think it would be very cool. Maybe we can get some stuff on vlog. I think it would be quite funny. <laughs> but, let's see how it goes. Let's see yeah. how it goes. Um, but yeah, so up until our last video from now, things have kind of gone a bit like... Uh, more like that, more this way. Uh, you, yeah? Yeah. Oh. It was there, like, there was some like a little bit of like something going on, but yeah, I'm still... Sick. Still sick, yeah. Um, made some new ground in terms of what's going on and what I'm reacting to and things like that and so much more knowledge about the lectins, the oxalates, the histamines, all of this crazy stuff in food that you really like need to do your own research about to actually understand it. Because um, rarely a doctor knows about that stuff. We do have a doctor in Germany who seems like knows a lot about that, yeah. but uh, he doesn't have any appointments um, for the next month, so it's, yeah, you are just by yourself. So. Yeah. And Sarah's gut problems are still ongoing as well. Like she's so bloated, guys. <laughs> oh it's God. crazy. Like I've literally, met, yeah. literally so bloated the whole day. And this is sort of how my gut problems started as well. Great. Around when I was 16 years old. After that point, I was just so bloated all the time. And that's when I started experimenting and seeing what foods bloated me more and things like that. But it didn't really get any better. It just got worse. But yeah, Sarah's belly now. It's just like. Boom. I look like pregnant literally like re I have a really big belly yeah um, so Sarah saw a gastro which is near our place and he did one test but the thing is with test the, and fructose intolerant test yeah the thing is with the standard tests that these gastroenterologists do they just measure for hydrogen levels and they only use one method glucose for testing it which isn't accurate because they can feed on though. different sugars you got lactulose you got fructose and you have glucose and also you need to measure the hydrogen and methane levels so and the third type of SIBO which I have is hydrogen sulfide which you can't even test on a breath test in Europe you have to go to America so yeah so um, but there is that one doctor we can like Dr. Make, Kierkan we got recommended yeah. by you guys so thank you for that this he's a really good doctor and he has loads of information about SIBO and all these other different things um, so he has the good SIBO tests which but, I did. Yeah, so Sarah's done a SIBO test. She was sat on the sofa for like three hours, like breathing into a bag. Yeah. Which is quite funny. <laughs> I hope but, it's positive so I really know what's going on, to be honest. Um, and yeah, in this, case, in this case, you want it to be positive because with me and it's unknown and no one can help me, it's, it's very obviously more difficult. But Yeah, and it's not like I'm just bloated. It's like painful bloat most of the time, which is very uncomfortable. I don't feel good in my body anymore, which I've never had that problem, luckily, yeah. but yeah, I'm, I'm sure, sure figure some it of out. you guys know that feeling of just like being bloated and you feel a bit blah and you, you don't feel comfortable in your body and yes, exactly. that's yeah. just like a sign that yeah, something's not right. But so many people are just walking around bloated and they think it's normal, but it's not. It's not. Yeah. Um, anyway, so enough bloat and everything. Yeah, we're the so, gut club. We already said like we're the, we have gut problems. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah, anyway, we go to Amsterdam today, as we said before. At the end of the year, something very special will happen. We've been stuck inside for two years with my health problems, with all the other stuff going on in the world. Yeah. So we're really looking forward to the plans that we have. Yeah. And, and yeah. I want to be able to film a lot of videos, vlogs. And uh, yeah, we're really sorry that we haven't been able to film, haven't been able to talk to you guys. Just literally, I've been 
just in such a bad state that I can't even speak to the camera. Yeah, and right um, now we're just packing our stuff. Um, and Thomas just said, oh, let's film now, because right now I feel like I could speak uh, to the camera. And I was like, we don't really have time, but all right, we have to use the time where you'd be good to film. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, we are traveling quite a long time, probably, at the end of the year. Uh, after Christmas, we start flying to Thailand, finally. We met in Thailand. Um, we can link down below the video where we tell the story how we met. And uh, it's very exciting. And we probably stay there 60 days, um, two months. And let's see how it goes then, because um, some other countries might open up like Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos or Bali, whatever. And um, my birthday is in the end of April. And we do think about staying till the start of May somewhere. But we keep it very open and spontaneous and just let's see what, what what what's possible. Yeah. So we want to get lots of vlogs. Yes, so this channel probably turns into a massive travel <laughs> channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well that was the intention of that. That was the intention, yes, that exactly. That was one of the topics. Yeah. So I'm very looking forward to it and sharing with you guys what's going on in our lives. It's just been pretty boring. <laughs> so if you have any questions for us guys, then you can post it in the comments down below. And also you could message Sarah or me on Instagram if you like. Yes. Yeah. And then I would say we keep packing our stuff to Amsterdam and we see each other then. Yeah. Bye. Juicy. <laughs> Juicy. Bye. <laughs>